hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified when i drop updates on this is fate stay tuned on today's episode previously we saw how Pridvi and shambu planned to come to the lutra house to disrupt the marriage they have going on so um in this episode let's see what is going to happen if the kings are going to succeed if the marriage will be stopped and if rishab really giving his consent to the marriage of his brother whom he's not even sure of yet and his wife Prita. karan gets to see Prita and smiles seeing her he recalls her words rishab tells that Prita is looking really pretty karan reacts and tells that Prita is his would-be wife Anjali is happy to see Arjun reacting and angering Rishab. She wants Rishab to stop the marriage. Rishab goes to Prita. Karan grows worried, expecting him to become a hodom in the marriage. Rishab takes Prita to Karan. He tells that Karan wants to marry Prita. Even Prita wants to marry him. Even Raki wants a marriage to happen. He tells that Raki and Prita mean the most to him. If they both want this marriage to happen, then it will happen. That nobody could have made the marriage possible if they both opposed it. That the marriage will happen when Raki and Prita wants so. Prita gets emotional when Rishab frees her from all the bonds and takes her to the mandap. Raki grows happy when Rishab gives Prita's hand to Karan. Karan and Prita sit in the mandap. Shruti tells Kritika that they have to do something. Raki asks Shruti to get Sapari for the puja. Shruti tells that she doesn't have it. Raki tells that it's there in the kitchen. She instructs Shruti. Raki sends Kritika as well. Karan and Prita feel the magic when they hold hands and reminisce the moment of their past. They both cry emotionally. Prithvi, Shambhu and the goons arrive there. Guards stop them to ask for their phones. Prithvi and Shambhu beat the guards. He asks them to wear the marks before entering because it's time to teach a lesson to the Luchras. Rishab is happy to see Karan and Prita in the mandap. Karan and Prita exchange the gallons. She asks him why he's playing the same game of hiding his identity from her. Why doesn't he say that he's Karan? She wishes he comes up with a confession soon. The marriage usual begins. Pandit asks them to sit back. Sami feels bad for Rishab and hugs him. Rishab stays strong. Raki performs the Gabadan rituals. Karan holds Prita's hand. She recalls their previous marriage ceremony. The goons enter the house and create a havoc. Prithvi and Shambhu warn them to freeze. Pani gets mistaken. She tells Karina that it would be Shruti's plan to stop the marriage. They get happy. Karan and Prita react to ask what the goons want. Bani falls into trouble when she slaps Prithvi. She asks Prithvi not to trouble Prita but Arjun and Anjali. She asks Shambhu. Didn't Shruti explain to them they have to stop the marriage? Prithvi asks her to shut up, takes Raki at gunpoint, fires in the air. Shruti and Kriti hear the gunshot and worry. Karan leaves the man up and rushes to save Raki. He asks Prithvi to leave Raki. Kritika runs to see what's going on outside. Karan and Rishab worry for Raki. Prithvi tells that Shruti didn't call them. They have come on their own. They are robbers. They have come to rob the house. He tells that it's their mistake that they are much rich. So he has come to create a balance by stealing their money. He is glad that the guests and family members don't have their phones with them. He asks them to just give away all the jewelries without any drama. Bishop asks them not to move and put the guns down. He tells that he will press the emergency switch. The switch doesn't work. Privy tells that he knows everything. He is more smart than Bishop. Peter asks them to stop. Shambu calls her mother to think that they would follow her orders. Sami calls him a coward and asks him to show his face. Men do not attack by hiding their face. The Lutras get into a fight with the goons. Mahesh asks Raki to run. Raki tells that she can't leave her sons in danger. She throws a coconut on Prithvi's head. Prithvi drops the gun. Sami punches Prithvi. The fight goes on. Whole Prita grows worried for the family. The Lutras run away to hide from the goons. Mahesh asks Raki not to go out and fight the goons. She tells that she wouldn't. Go and rescue her son. She asks Bani to stop Mahesh. Mahesh and Raki argue in front of Karina and Bani. Tells her Raki is behaving abnormal. Raki asks Karina to tell Mahesh if they never fought the goons before. She reminds the problems. The fist in the aircraft. Bani calls Raki brave. 
Mahesh asks Raki not to go out and risk her life. Raki pushes Mahesh and runs out. Mahesh follows her. Bibi asks the guest not to move. He finds the Luchras missing. He asks Shambu to find them and bring them to the hall. Shambu asks them to find the bride. Rishab and Sami try to find a place to, for them to hide. Privy asks them to stop. Prita and Anjali enter a room and lock the door. Shambu reaches there. He tries to find Prita. Prita and Anjali fight the goons. Raki and Mahish don't see anyone in the hall. She asks if the goons have run away. Mahish tells that the family members would have gone to hide. Raki meets Karan and Rishab. She asks where Prita went. Karan and Rishab realize that Prita and Sami are missing. They make a team and hide in some room. Prita gets caught by the goons. She signals Anjali to help her by passing the foot knife. Anjali doesn't help her. Prita manages to get rid of the goons. She takes Anjali with her. She asks Anjali if she wants the goons to catch her or hold her. Critical falls on and gets hurt. She is caught by Prithi. She asks him not to kill her. Prithi extends his help, hand to help. He asks her to answer his questions with a positive reply. He threatens and turns her into a hostage. Mahesh asks Rishab to explain to Raki not to act brave. Karan and Rishab call her brave and joke on Mahesh. Shriti tells that she wants to learn daringness from Raki. Karan completes Shriti's statement. He goes out to find the family members. Rishab tells that he will also go and find Prita. Prita asks why Anjali didn't pass her the knife. Anjali tells that she wanted Prita to get hurt. She justifies that she doesn't want to lose her friend Arjun. He isn't listening to her these days because of Prita. She rebukes Prita. Karan hears this and stops Anjali. He sets limits for Anjali. He tells that it's Prita and his matter. She shouldn't get into this. Karan and Anjali get into an argument. Prita asks them not to fight. Anjali asks her not to ruin their friendship. He apologizes to Prita. He tells that he would go and explain to Anjali. Prita thinks to find a phone and call the police. Anjali asks Karan if he wants to insult her more. Karan asks why she didn't save Prita. Anything could have happened to her. Anjali asks what would happen. Shriti overhears them. Karan tells that she already knows it. Anjali tells that she doesn't know it and she doesn't want to know anything. Karan tells that he would be hurt if anything happens to Prita because he loves her. Prithvi asks the goons to tie up the hostages. He tells that he will teach them a lesson. Anjali tells that she has done a lot for Arjun. He isn't able to understand her love. She confesses that she loves him. This shocks Karan. Karan tells her he loves her too. She is his good friend. She always supports him, but she can't say anything wrong about Prita. He praises Prita. Anjali asks him to just tell her, does he love Prita more than her? Shruti thinks what is happening. Why does he love Prita instead of Anjali? He tells Anjali that he loves Prita a lot. He calls Anjali important for him. Anjali gets upset. Shruti tells that Arjun is just like Karan. He doesn't want anyone to talk against Prita. Risha reaches Prita and asks if she's okay. She tells she was looking for a phone to call the police. She worries thinking he's upset with her. He tells that he just wants to see her smiling. He doesn't want anything else. The goons reach there. Karan arrives to beat the goons. He asks Prita and Rishab to leave fast. Karan saves Rishab from falling. Prita and Rishab see their Karan in Arjun. Karan tells that he, his hands is aching. Rishab thanks him for saving him. He wants to help Karan. They see a goon reaching Prita. They run to save her. Karan bashes up the goon madly in anger. His madness reminds Prita and Rishab of Karan again. Prita calls out Karan to stop him. Karan freezes on hearing his name from her.